Hey everyone, Mark here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. So as you saw in the thumbnail for this video, uh, let me let me take a st step back to how this all started. So um, Elvis is back. The FTD 2LP set that I believe came out in 2010. Um, it's uh, one of the early, obviously one of the early FTDs. An absolute stunning cover, a great release. Um, I did have it uh, last October when I sold off some of my FTDs. Uh, my copy had a couple corner dings. And I kind of went back and forth if I was going to sell it. And I got a pretty decent chunk of change. I got uh, more than what I originally paid for it. Now, when I bought it almost three years ago, I bought it from a gentleman um, from uh, a record store in New York on eBay. He had listed that. Like I said, had had a couple corner bumps. Um but overall, it was a nice shape. And I think I paid then, I want to say I paid $325, including the shipping. And then the next day, he posted the Blue Hawaii FTD, which was the first in the series. And um, that one was actually a little bit more. But uh, I think I got that one for just, just a touch more, like three, not sure if I paid $350 for it, which, you know, a lot of people say, like, wow, that's a lot of money when you think about how much they were when they came out. But when you see, uh, either on eBay or Discogs, what they're going for, um, that's a bargain. Again, this was three years ago. So I went back and forth. I did sell it. Like I said, I sold it for uh, a little bit more than what I had paid for. And I tried to be fair when I did sell all of them. I uh, actually took less on than what I paid for on a number of them. But uh, that was one of those ones where now I kicked myself. I wish I would have kept it. Like I said, fantastic coverage. You can see in the thumbnail. Uh, it's got the you know the the pink uh, Ellis's back the you know the um, scripting and uh, cool pink hype sticker. So a couple of days ago, I'm looking on Facebook and this album came up from a UK seller seller in the UK, and the opening bid was 105 I believe it was 105 pounds uh, uh, currency. So I kept my eye on it, and um, as recently as last night, I put in a bid, and it was right around $120, and I knew it was going to go much higher than that. I knew it was. And actually, in the long outlook of it, I knew I had no shot at getting it. I would have been shocked if I, if I would have. So I, I got outbid a couple times. So the highest I would go on it, I think it, was, uh, I think it went up to 301 pounds, which I think in U.S. currency was like 330, 340. And the shipping was 24, like 95 uh, from the U.K. to here if I would have won the bid. Um, so early this afternoon, uh, I got outbid. I knew that was the highest I was going to go. I, I knew realistically I didn't have much of a shot. I was hopeful. I've been buying, uh, mostly buying, have done some selling on eBay for probably over 15 years. And um, you always uh, have that hope that, you know, man, like this is a low bid, hope it stays that way. But then once it gets down to crunch time and towards the end of the bidding period, it ramps up. So at one point it went up to, it went from, it almost doubled. Like I got outbid and then it jumped up about an hour before the bidding ended. It jumped up to about, I think it was like $738. For some reason that number stands in my head. And I thought, well, not only am I out, that's more than double what I was wanting to go through, go to. And the final winning bid, I think it was 26 bids, I believe, total. The winning bid ended up being, uh, it was like 800 and, 801 pounds. And then the final cost of the album, but for the album itself was $994 and change. And the shipping was twenty five, like forty nine. So you're talking over a thousand dollars for this. Um, it looked like it was a stunning copy. It was sealed, but anybody who says that the interest in Elvis, you know, that there's other artists that would, you know, are, are more collectible or more popular, I'll argue that point any day. Um, Elvis stuff is just at a fever pitch. Merchandise, the albums, and that's evident with everything that's coming out, but. These FTDs um, are just, they're gold. Um, as you can see behind me, uh, I have several of the FTDs. A number of the ones that I sold last year, I've gotten back. I'm still missing roughly maybe 14 or 15 of them, but Elvis is back as one of them. So I'll keep my ears and eyes open, maybe keep looking on Discogs, but I'm not hopeful. Maybe someday if I win the lottery, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, stranger things have happened, but it's just crazy, you know, that it went for that kind of money. 
And it makes me feel pretty good because um, I did the video uh, about a, four or five weeks ago when I got uh, Standing Room Only, which was the second album that was released after Blue Hawaii. Hugely uh, popular and hard to find album. It doesn't come for sale often. I had seen uh, a copy about six weeks ago sell for 12, it was bids and it sold for $1,240. Uh, and then like 10 bucks to ship it or $15 to ship it. And then on Discogs, an unopen, uh, an unsealed copy, no hype stick or anything, went for a little, a little over a thousand. And I got it for a fraction of that. I had somebody overseas, uh, I can't even remember now looking back how I was alerted to it, but I reached out to the guy, he had it, and uh, I think he might have posted on Facebook the uh, the copy. I immediately reached out to him, and I got it. I got it for a ridiculously low price, um, a fraction of what it was selling for. But moral of the story is, man, this stuff is going for big, big money. And even the CDs I'm finding as I'm getting down to the last few I need, finding those couple ones has been challenging because you want to get the right price. Um, and uh, that's kind of been the challenge. So it's, it's taken me a little longer uh, than I'd like. Um, but yeah, $994 and change and then another 25 plus to ship it. So kudos to the uh, person that sold it. Uh, a nice payday for them. But just shows you the popularity of these uh, these Elvis uh, albums, these FTDs and, and other things. So um, just want to make this quick video. Thank you for all those who have uh, recently subscribed and commented. Um, and until next time, we look forward to seeing you. Take care. Bye.